Oh, I finally got my hands on it. Finally, I can open this beautiful thing up. It's quite a thick spine, not a super thick one. On the back, we've got the details that you'd expect. I think maybe they should go the, the arrow video approach and have like a great big wadge of text there with just almost everything listed and then someone who picks it up can go, okay, I get it, this is really full of stuff. Just a passing thought, let's get into this. As always, I'm going to use the tried and trusted fingernail method, which works quite well. Sorry, you're right there, mate. I don't want to upset you. Of course, as I said in my announcement video for this, the artwork by Lee Binding is absolutely sumptuous. I think I might not have said sumptuous at the time, but by God, I'm saying it now. Look at that, sumptuous. I love the cogs. That was just a, a genius move. Right, let's see what's on the back of this. That is the first big question that we have to answer, right? Let's see. Oh, nice. Now that is, I believe, from, it's either Underworld or the Invisible Enemy. I think it's Underworld, right? Yeah. That's lovely. I love those colours. Now, is there anything else to see here? I've got the back image there. Yep. Yeah. Underneath. Now, you can sit in there. How do you like those apples? It's the big moment. The big moment. Yes, what a great image. Yeah, the Doctor, Leela and K-9, some Gallifrey guards queuing up to greet them. Obviously, after autographs, I should expect. As is traditional, I'm going to delay the opening of this bit and go to this bit, the discs. Let's have a look at those discs. Also traditional is me moaning about how there aren't any monsters on the discs. So let's see <laughs> how much moaning I'm going to do. I don't know. It's pretty hard to moan about a set like this, I think. So this is the Doctor, but I like all this interesting stuff that's going on in the background here. I'm not even entirely sure what that is. Hmm. It's an upside down K9. I couldn't quite see that for, for a while there. So there seems to be some kind of theme going on here. Are they cogs in the background? Is that what this is? Yeah, I think they're, I guess they're kind of cogs, aren't they? That's nice having a background theme. It does make the discs a bit more kind of enticing, isn't it? And that is a good picture of K9. Always nice to see a picture of Leela. Yeah, image of the Fendal with that cog design again in the background. The Doctor holding something in the Sunmakers. I still haven't revisited the Sunmakers. When I made my announcement video for this and mentioned that I hadn't seen the Sunmakers since broadcast in 1977, Lots of people told me to revisit it, and I will. Let me know if you'd like to see a video from someone like me, who was watching The Sunmakers for the first time since 1977, and maybe gives their reaction to it. Underworld, the Doctor once again. Not the most exciting image I could imagine. I would have liked that hooded guy with the vaguely s &M hood. <laughs> it's more Leela. That's always a pleasure, always good. Invasion of Time, Disc 6, and and then we have the bonus disc for Disc 7 with another image from the Invasion of Time there. The sash, the hat of Rassilon, the baton of Rassilon. I'm pretty sure those are the correct titles for all three of those items. <laughs> really nice. Oh, and what is under here? That is another key question, isn't it? You ready? Let's look at it together. One, two, three. Well, that is classic, isn't it? Iconic. Okay, so that's the discs done. What I'm gonna do now is put this down here. And we're gonna open this up. Are you ready for this momentous occasion? I certainly am. We've waited long enough, haven't we? Yes. Great. Horror Fang Rock. Marvellous. Leela with a knife. Can you imagine a Doctor Who companion carrying a knife around casually these days? That would not happen. And that is probably for the best in a children's TV show, if I'm honest. <laughs> oh, that's a nice uh, creepy lighthouse in the background there. 
so we can see a bit of the TARDIS. Right, let's get the leaflet out and let's have a look at the TARDIS in here. And then we'll come back to the leaflet. Oh yeah, K9 is there. Because of course this is the season in which K9 made his debut. Now that is um, an asteroid, is that Titan? I can't remember now, from the Invisible Enemy. It's definitely from the Invisible Enemy though, right? Of course, if I get anything wrong in this video, I know I can rely on you fine people to let me know. That is gorgeous. Now here's the more exciting products from Doctor Who leaflet that we've come to expect, but which is seldom as exciting as the thing that it's inside. So let's have a look in here. Now these booklets are just very high quality, aren't they? Always really nice. And they've got loads of text to read in there. Here's a confession. I don't know if you're like me, but I always forget to read these, these booklets. I haven't read any of them yet. There's a confession, right? I want to read them and I'm saving them for a rainy day. But more than anything, I just kind of forget that they're in here. Do you share this confession of mine? Are you prepared to stand up and say, I have yet to read this text, Jason. I'm with you. We are together in our ignorance and our solidarity of not reading things. Okay, so let's have a look through here. Ah, yes. Ah, audio commentary two exclusive to Blu-ray. Tom Baker on parts two and four. Oh, only parts two and four? Okay, fair enough. I think we all know that Tom would get a bit bored and distracted if he was asked to watch the whole story. <laughs> yeah, a brand new documentary featuring Louise Jameson and archive contributions from director Paddy Russell. Great. Behind the sofa with a whole host of uh, who luminaries there or who minaries, if you like. The Terrence Dix documentary. Now, is that from the DVD? I wish that these booklets had some kind of icon system, perhaps, to show us what was on the DVDs and what is new. Would you like that? Comment below. Now, I don't want to sound like I'm looking a gift horse in the mouth here because this is tremendously exciting. I'm just saying, you know, at this point of the collection range, it'd be nice to, to have a few things kind of honed to absolute perfection, I suppose, in terms of usability and accessibility. A Paddy Russell interview there. I'm lingering on Fang Rock because it's um, probably my favorite story. Well, it's probably my favorite story full stop in Doctor Who, possibly but it's certainly my favorite in this season. Although Invisible Enemy and, and others are really close behind it. I'd find it really hard to do a ranking video for season 15. Oh, that's nice. Doctor and Reuben. And now the Invisible Enemy. Love the Invisible Enemy. This season, I'd previously got into Doctor Who on, the, on season 14. I'm pretty sure the first story I ever saw might have been The Mask of Mandragora. But by this season, I was in full flow. I was in full Doctor Who engagement. And so things like The Invisible Enemy, I absolutely loved it. That's a nice image there of uh, the Doctor and Leela inside the Doctor in microscopic form. All the studio footage, low quality material from the studio sessions. Again, I can't remember whether that was on the DVD, a making of documentary. I must admit, I wish there was more stuff here for The Invisible Enemy. I, can, I just don't know if there's much new stuff. Yeah, that's, that's a bit of a letdown for a story like this. But then again, a lot of people don't think of it as being a, an incredible story or a really notable story. But of course, that's, that's down to my own nostalgia for it and my own kind of umbilical cord that goes back to it. There's a fair bit of stuff and we've still got the updated special effects from the DVD, which I like to have, even though I probably wouldn't watch them on the average watch of The Invisible Enemy, but they're great to have and, and to look at. Professor Marius there. And Image of the Fendal. Making of documentary. Now, is that a new making of documentary? I can't remember now. Deleted and extended scenes. A horror featurette, the influence of horror films on Doctor Who. <laughs> Emu's Broadcasting Company. Is that, I don't think that's a deliberate typo, is it? My proofing services are, are available at very reasonable rates. <laughs> wow, look at that Fendal there being manhandled. Oh, that's a lovely image, love that. Yeah, with a pentagram in the background, you can't beat that. Beautiful and a nice skull. You can't beat a glowing skull, can you really? For entertainment. I still think this is one of the creepiest images in Doctor Who. 
even though now that we're adults we can see that the big eyes are actually just drawn onto the actress's closed eyelids when i was a kid that was just it's i think it's still really scary especially when she smiles that's mad isn't it it's creepy very creepy and also you know what has happened to thea i'm pretty sure i've said this before it's like you know what has happened to thea where's she gone now right here's that story that i haven't seen since 1977 that looks fun I just can't quite remember what happens in this at all, oh, especially over four episodes. How did they manage to spread out a kind of a, a tax allegory over four episodes? <laughs> the thing that's stopping me from watching this is it doesn't seem to have any monsters in it. Yeah, I still have that mindset. I want the monsters. Oh, that's a nice uh, underworld image. Isn't that pretty? Now, uh, making of documentary. Now, is that new? I can't remember. <laughs> again not a whole lot of stuff then again it's not for the want of trying the team did actually consider um sorting out the cso problems if you want to call them problems with underworld but it was just deemed in the end to not be something that could be done and they'd be better off having updated special effects on fang rock instead which i think is probably the, w the way to go although of course you know as fans we just want everything don't we The invasion of time lovely here's the final battle that trailer i made um i made a video about that trailer the making of that trailer with chris the guy who did the special effects in it i'll put a link to that at the end of this video so hang tight for that uh making of documentary the rise and fall of gallifrey louise jameson discusses her time on the program i still feel like all of this stuff could be described in a more informative fashion it's like what is that is that J louise jameson being interviewed by matthew sweet I, i'm not sure maybe that was earlier anyway there's quite a bit of stuff for the oh yeah love that loving that image aren't you what do you think of that that is a brilliant image for the invasion of time yeah i showed my sons my four-year-old sons uh, a picture of the doctor holding a large gun the other day because they are liking large guns at the moment. But of course, I stress to them that the Doctor does not normally do that type of thing. Why, Daddy? Because guns are bad, son. Yeah. Look at that obsequious character. He's the character for whom the word obsequious was invented, most likely. Lovely. Bonus disc. So the bonus disc has the Graham Williams documentary. Brilliant. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. The Panopticon Archive. That's an interview with Louise Jameson and John Leeson. Oh, that's from the convention, the Panopticon, I guess. The 50th Anniversary Archive. A Companions Panel with Louise Jameson, Katie Manning and Sophie Aldred. Here's a con interview with Louise from 86. A, comp a compile of studio recording clocks. And another interview from 1978 with Louise Jameson. Well, what a lovely package, and it's rounded out here on the back of the booklet with two lovely BBC promo shots rendered in, in gorgeous monochrome back in the day and reproduced on the back of this booklet. Well, how do we feel about this? I think this is very nice indeed, isn't it? And I can't wait to watch this stuff. With a lot of these box sets, I don't get around to watching half of the content, but I know that with this one, I'm going to watch the whole damn thing. Maybe not the compilation of studio clocks, but uh, <laughs> yeah, exciting. Get down in comments, please, so we can talk about this box set. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to embrace your obsession. <laughs>